after 9-11, everyone was scared. Scared it might happen again. It was my second day of grad school. Next day, I changed all my classes to national security. Morning, Dan. Morning, Senator. Have you seen the story today in the New York Times? Evidently, the CIA destroyed tapes of interrogations of Al-Qaeda detainees. I want to find out what was on the tapes and why they were destroyed. No paper. Paper is a way of getting people in trouble at our place. At our place, paper is how we keep track of laws. Last night I found this. He's detainee number 24. Have you guys used this thing long ago? No, we watched your video. They waterboarded him 183 times. Everything they got from him was either a lie or something they already had. If it works, why do you need to do it 183 times? Maybe when the report comes out, people will finally see that. I vehemently disagree with the narrative here. The United States does not torture. Dan, you need to be careful here. They can't destroy the documents. They can go after the next best thing, you. They claim they saved lives, but what they really did was make it impossible to prosecute a mass murderer. Because if what we did to him ever came out in a court of law, the case is over. The guy planned 9-11. We will not allow this to be covered the up. The intent is to gain intel, save American lives. History is written by the victors. We need to change our approach. How is that even ethical? Nothing could be further from the truth. Democracy is messy. If the Times had your report, we would print it tomorrow. No. If it's going to come out, it's going to come out the right way.